What's up guys, welcome to our channel eTechnese. In this video, we will talk about Epic Game Launcher Error 0xC00007B. We will discuss three methods to fix this error. Along with that, we will talk about the basic method first before going to the advanced method in which we have to update DLL files or we have to replace or we have to change the file. So first, we'll talk about the software installation and if that works perfectly fine, then we do not have to go with an updating DLL file or changing or replacing it. So stay tuned and watch the complete video. Before going further, if you are new to this channel, then click on subscribe button, select all to the bell notification, give a thumbs up if you like this video and leave your feedback in the comment section. Method 1. Download DirectX First of all, you have to download the DirectX from Microsoft website, open any browser you have like Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, any one of these. I'm opening the Google Chrome. Alright, here we have a safe search. As you can see the safe search provided by the tageadvice.com. If you want to do a safe search on internet without having any malicious website to show up in your result along with the search privacy then you have to opt for the tageadvice.com safe search. You simply have to type this URL tageadvice.com, click on safe search and you will be on this page. As you can see this safe search is powered by Google so it's completely secure for you and it's gonna give you complete privacy. Once you'll be on this page, type in here direct X, press enter. As you can see the results in here, it's gonna show you all the results from Google. You simply have to click on this result, download DirectX end user runtime web installer from offline. Click on it and let me show you a history so that you can show about the privacy. As you can see, when I open the safe search of Tage Advice, then the second thing which I can see here is the website which I open. But I cannot see the result information in here. I'll only get the website which I open. Once you'll be on this page to download DirectX end user runtime web installer, simply click on download. If your download starts and show you dxwebsetup.exe, then it's good. If not, click here to download this DirectX manually. After downloading, simply click on this one. You will get user account control window. Click yes. As you can see, Microsoft DirectX. Select I accept the agreement and click next. Uncheck this option because we do not want to install the Bing. After this, click on next. It is start installing the component. As you can see, it says installation complete. As I have already installed Microsoft DirectX in my PC, so it's not gonna take that long for installing because all of those files are already in the same place where DirectX gonna install it. So it's not gonna take that long for me. However, if you are downloading for the first time, it's gonna take one or two minutes. It all depends on the download speed of your internet. After installing, click on finish. Open the Epic Game Launcher app to check if it's coming up properly or not. If it's coming up properly, then you do not have to go with the method two or method three. If it's not coming up properly, then you have to opt for method 2 and the method 2 is DLL files in Epic Game Launcher folder. So here you have to download DLL files. The link is given in the description to download the DLL file. We have bundled all of the DLL file so that you do not have to download it from some other place or collect all of the DLL file together to update your Epic Game Launcher folder. So we have done that work for you so you simply have to download it. The link is given in the description. Simply copy that link and open your browser and paste that link on the address bar. Press enter. As it's showing you the page of mega.ns, I think I'm not gonna show you the same link. I'll give you the trusted website link in the description so that you can download it without having any problem to go onto unknown website or something like that. Once you'll be on that web page, you will surely get a link given on the page to download in the end of the page or somewhere in the middle of the page. Simply click on download. 
and that file it start installing on your PC. After downloading the file, click on show folder or you can click on show and folder. You have to extract these files. So first, what do you have to do? Copy this folder and create a new folder in here like the same I have created. I think it would be great if I'll show you what exactly you have to do. Right click on your desktop screen. In the new, click on folder. As I have a new folder in here, open it and paste the folder in here. Now do a right click and click extract all. Click extract. As you can see the folder in here, you simply have to copy all of the file. Select all, click in the folder, press Ctrl and A on your keyboard. Select all of the DLL files and do a right click and select copy. Now select the Epic Game Launcher, do a right click, select open file location. Once you'll have this window, you can click on this option, scroll it down, do a right click in the folder and paste all of the file in here. As you can see all of the file paste it in here. Now open the Epic Game Launcher and check if it fixed or not. If it fixed, then you do not have to opt for the method 3. However, I always suggest you to watch the complete video because sometimes we don't know which troubleshooting gonna help us to fix the problem. So watch the complete video. Method 3. DLL files in System32 and SysWow64. Select all of the file and copy all of the DLL files. Do a right click, select copy. Now click this PC, open the local disk, do a double click, open the Windows folder. Here search for system32. As you can see system32, double click on it and paste all of the file. It might ask you to replace the file in the destination. As we are pasting 105 item in here, select replace the file in destination. Sometime all of the file which we already have in our folder get corrupted or something like that happen. After pasting all of the file in here, click on this arrow to go back. Search for syswow64. Open the folder and do a right click in this folder and select paste. And again you will get this option to replace the file in the destination. So select this one. After pasting and updating all of the file in system32 and syswow64, close it and try to open the epic game launcher. Here I like to tell you one more thing, if you are a 64-bit user then you have to follow all of these methods. But if you are a 32-bit user then you only have to paste the file in system32. If you are a 64-bit user then you have to paste all of the file in system32 and in syswow64 in both of the folder. For to check the bit version of your windows, click on the windows icon, click on the settings click on system, scroll it down, click on about and you will see the bit version in here, 64 bit operating system. If you want to know the answer why you have to paste the file in system32 and syswow64 as a 64 bit user then you can ask in the comment section. I'll surely explain you the difference between 32 bit user and 64 bit user. So that's all for today. If you like our video, then give a thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.